Guys, Dan with Tools in Action. Today we have a unique product that we found on Toolsnob.com. Um, it is called the Hardcore Hammer. It's a patent pending hammer from a company called Hardcore Hammers. And today we actually have the uh, uh, owner and inventor of the Hardcore Hammer here with us today that's going to uh, go over the product and kind of give us a walkthrough and Eric will interview him. So, go ahead. Steve, thanks a lot for uh, taking time out of your day and coming over and uh, kind of showing these hammers and talking a little bit about them. Um, kind of like to find out a little bit, how did you come up with this idea or what is actually Hardcore Hammers and how did you come up with this idea? Well, Hardcore Hammers is just that. It's a hammer with a super hard core in the middle of it. Um, I came up with it. I'm a carpenter. I've been one for 12, 13 years now. And uh, I was tired of wearing out my waffle-faced hammers too fast, having to buy new ones. So for me, it was I, I had an idea to, to solve a problem that I was having at work, and it worked. Cool. Okay. Could you just tell us a little bit about the head of the hammer? Well, what I did was we took a, a hard steel core and we recessed it into the face of the hammer. And so when you, when you hit with the hammer, the, the force is, is taken on, is absorbed into this smooth outer rim here. So your teeth never come in contact with anything but the nail when you're driving it. So your teeth are protected by it being recessed. This core is made out of S7 machined tool steel. It's some of the hardest steel on the planet. It's pretty much the same steel that they use to make jackhammer bits. So you know the stuff's tough. And this steel is actually about a third harder than the steel that's made that comprises the rest of the hammer. I've heard a lot about titanium head hammers. How is this different than a titanium head? Well. Titanium and steel are just two different metals, first of all, but titanium, what makes this one better, in my opinion, is um, titanium has a great strength to weight ratio. Problem is, the stuff's malleable. Your waffle teeth wear out way too fast. With this, this thing's almost three times harder than titanium, so your waffle teeth stay sharper longer. I noticed there's two, two little indentations, one on the bottom, one on the top. What are... Well, these are just your typical your nail slot with a magnetic nail starter. Uh, a lot of hammers have them on the top, but when you're you're setting a nail that's over, out of reach over your head, you can't really see where that's going. So we put one on the bottom too to give yourself a little bit more accuracy. Okay. I noticed on these two, there's two, you have a straight and a curved. Can you, what's the difference or can you talk a little bit about that? Really there's no difference. Um, straight and curved, it's personal preference. I've always been a straight handled guy. That's just what I started on. That's what I'm used to. You can make the same, same argument for either one. Okay. And what, what are these made out of? What type of wood is it? This is uh, American Grown 100% Hickory. And you offer just these finishes or do you have other finishes? Uh, we have it. We have the two handle styles and a couple of different finishes. This is our gun stock, probably our most popular one finish. And then we also have it in uh, just um, raw hickory with a clear coat on it, and then we offer them in ebony. It's a black handle. Okay. You said the handles are grown here in the U.S. Is every this the whole hammer made here in the U.S., so all products are U.S.? Every product we use is manufactured, made, or grown in the United States, and we're going to keep it that way. And where, if someone wants to buy one of these, where can they pick it up? Uh, you can pick one of these up at hardcorehammers.com. Now, you brought one of yours that you've been using. Yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, this is this is my personal one that I swing every day. Uh, I've been using this one for about a year and a half. As you can see, it's used. But if you look at that waffle, the thing still looks brand new. It's awesome. I noticed you were talking when we were talking earlier. You said this is basically two hammers in one. And can you explain a little bit about that? Well, yeah, it's it's first of all, it's a framing hammer. It's got your your waffle teeth, your traction surface for gripping nails. Any carpenter knows that. But it's also a smooth face hammer too, because when you're, you can drive finished nails with this when you're nailing up brick mold and stuff. You can finish, you can drive finished nails with the teeth 
but your last couple of hits, just use a smooth outer rim. A couple well-placed hits and you're done. No need to switch to uh, a smoothie. Uh, what's the weight of these, uh, the head, the hammers actually? Well, this is our, this is our flagship. This is our 19 ounce framer. Um, we know a lot of hammers these days are trending towards the lighter side. This one, 19 ounces, it's, it's, it's light enough to swing all day. And it's, at 19 ounces, it's still heavy enough to, to feel like you're swinging a hammer and not a feather. Okay, perfect. Do you, what is the future? What are you guys planning on doing for the future in terms of products? Well, this one put us on the map, but we want to come out with, we, we're, we got other hammers in the works, a heavier and lighter. We're also going to do a straight, smooth-faced finish hammer. Uh, just when you need, you know, a good utilitarian hammer, we're going to make one of those. We got big plans. We're coming out with a lot of new stuff. Nail pullers, all kinds of stuff. Apparel, check back with our website, and we'll have new stuff shortly for sure. What's your website address? www.hardcorehammers.com Cool. So let's go ahead and uh, see this uh, hammer in action. If we can see a couple of swings with the, the old hammer that's a year and a half old, and then the, the new hammer, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, this one leaves no waffle mark. A traditional framer. Leaves a big waffle mark when you miss. Difference. That's the hardcore. That's the traditional hammer. One question I had is with the uh, countersink, the countersink design on the head with the waffle side of it, can you still drive a nail flush in there or does it leave it sticking out a little bit? Well, that's why it's two hammers in one. When you're nailing a finished nail, you can drive it in and your last final tap will leave the head of your nail sticking up. That's when you grab a nail set or go real slow and just finish it off with the smooth outer rim. If it's a framing nail, you can drive it all the way home in your last blow. You just make the last blow on the edge of your hammer. Any skilled carpenter can do that.